Okay, sir. That even we are back for for another long conversation to continue the conversation. So, mm-hmm. you get this phone call from Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> so I got this call from Nigeria. Uh-huh. They're telling me now. I can't remember. Was it? Uh, I was nominated. Uh-huh. I was nominated. Oh, I remember. Yes. I was nominated. Manze, I celebrated like I don't know. Because you see, for that at that time, eh? and tell people what you're nominated for. Eh? Tell people what you've been nominated. I was nominated for, for best anglophone. Mama's music. MTV Mama yeah. Awards. Yes. Best anglophone act. Man, I was super excited because you know at that moment, eh? MTV like it, it was like everything. Everything. Because wahu yeah. alikuwa mshinda. And then Nemes alikuwa mshinda two or nine. Yes, at home here. Yes. One of the women, yeah, when it was here at, Kani, at Kasarani. And the most amazing story, and I remember Nemdes giving, giving this story during my, my last launch. The most amazing story was, 2009, I happened to nilipata last minute tickets za kwenda Mama Awadhi at Kasarani. Watch. So I went, nika watch, nika watch, Nemdes akashinda. Mama awards. What? Niko na nikama hii ni uongo. Yaani hizi ko ina happen. Wao wameshinda last year, alafu nimeza wameshinda this year. Na mimi bado. So, siko na jona big to that level, but nilikuwa naona one day one time I'll reach to that level. That night, nika call nameless. And I, I think akushika. So the next day nikam call nikam be hey monski nikam be poa ni ajen nikam be hey congratulations manze ume to make proud nani nikam unizaje uko home akanambia eh eh niko home nikam be nataka come home kuna kitu nataka tu kuona akanambia sawa sawa easy come come nikaenda kufika kwake the first thing i went straight nikashika hiyo trophy like this nikaishika hivi nikaiangalia serious serious nikaiangalia nikaambia monski ndashinda hiki next year ngeka chini what <laughs> <laughs> monski gave that story to kona amini what he gave that testimony during my launch last launch for mm-hmm. vanity yeah yeah he gave that testimony monski was like this alikora sema anaambia tu i thought this guy is crazy <laughs> Because at that time I was not big the, I was big but not to that level. As you know you are not is just a wave that has started. Yeah yeah. But we say mamefika to a certain level that one is a toka pale wako paka washine mama. Exactly. That's 2009. I can assure you 2010 nilikuwa na hiyo trophy. So how did it feel? Fact tell us about going <laughs> going uko because ulienda na Kera na Dako na uli perform as well. This I'm telling you for me it was Kwanza before that that's 2010 is when now sasa nikashinda nikashinda all the awards na Kirero. <laughs> yes, Nibiyote, eh? na Kirero, yeah. Yes. So nimefanya tu Tobina. Tobina now the first time nika inacheza MTV I was so shocked. Kwanza nilikuwa nimekaa tu home nikapigiwa simu. Ati eh hey, yongo wako umetuambia ni kali nikamwambia ah gani hiyo Tobina. Oh Tobina msa kana eh kwanza ni watch MTV nikamwambia MTV <laughs> <laughs> like comes an NTV am MTV, MTV. MTV. <laughs> serious but yeah ah serious because I'm a sao nikaenda nika switch nikaipata manze nikaona ni kama ni uongo i get and it's so weird yeah. because even though ha- no gospel song had been played on yeah. TV before and then when we were shooting that video lights did it on maker exactly I've Do you know when you're that video? I've seen better than you in videos yeah that video has about ya kunyasha that video had a very amazing idea but we didn't finish the idea because mvoi nijana tulikuwa on top of KICC mm. it was so cold kuna mtu yali collapse yali faint and it was so cold one look one was bleed and it's drama too and then carrying the equipment from downstairs just to lift the camera bika it was like nizoezi what yeah you carried it kulikuwa na obstacles kama 1 million but look at the lingana akashoot you when you're fine so for me even the video going to to MTV it was a sh- and I was so shocked you're like how how 
for me honestly si kwa na, na, na feel hiyo ni kama one of my best videos mm. because like i told you i always plan my things and i was like i know how i wanted it to be the end product the end product and i was so sure this is not what i wanted mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but at this time the pressure is so much the song is so big even once you watch it to a video to a video to a video in fact even beat is telling you you already beat of the week just yes. give me a video yes so i can call beat of the week then yes you call everything most beat of the week you gonna pick off here richie you party up in here richie you party up in here we party whenever beat of the week was not easy but at that level cuz i remember I delayed to release the video for one day. So I had two videos. Yes, one day. Yes. So I had two videos. Hi boss, when I could delay so, videos. So so Pinye asked me a very simple question. Which one do you want us to play? Because I love both of both bo, the, bo, the two videos. Which one do you want us to play? So me I was like, you pick. Pinye picked Strobina. It was over. Yeah. But one day still did did well. Yes, he did. Yeah. He did. So So he he played both. He basically released both. Both. But, but of course bit of the week, week was, was 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 Tobina. Tobina. Mm. So Pinye aka decided Tobina ni kuyesaka bit of the week and all that. Ha. So at that time shows zikaanza ku come. <laughs> you know for me I think ni departmentalship from my brother Afton na pia nilikuwa na hangout sana na Mr. Googs. Aha. So nilikuwa naona how things work and all that. But at that time shows zangu mazee zilikuwa mob honestly paka na cancel paka nilikuwa na cancel the event because you find in one weekend nimeitoa show kama nne in one like sato we don't get sunday sato peke yake what umeitoa show kama nne and then at that at that time kulikuwa na hizi drama za people are dying waki drive waki na wanarakisha kwenda show na hizo vitu mm. kuna hizo stories so yes, yeah, yeah. you are in a, you, you feel like you don't want to be in the same position where yeah. but umechukua show Nairobi na unataka kukimbia shingine Mombasa. Mhm. Ah, kweli. Yeah. So I had to cancel some events and decide hey, kuna zingine sisi fanya. Guys couldn't believe. Na ile fika mahali paka nilikuwa na nipo dona shindo hizi doni zangu ama because you know at that time you know nimetoka phase ya when 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 I started eh, don't like when you do mob zilikuwa do kiasi si do mob kama unapata kama tenji zinu nilikuwa do mob sana because you had nothing yes no those days the first yeah, wave, the yeah. first wave yeah the first wave yeah, yeah. when well, remember kev is one i think who paid me my first money when he did the speed party uh-huh. ni kabai phone kabere na kanu zio phone na kabere na mimi alikuwa ni all my phones ni nilikuwa kutoka kabere so and then nikakula deep so by the time i came back I didn't know even what is the bucket thread. So I remember one day nimeenda kupiga quote. Mzee ananiambia, "Ai, una quote 15 Gs." Mimi nitakupea 100. I'm like, "What? 100 Gs?" At yeah, mimi nitakupea 100 Gs. Paka msaida na kubagainia na yeye na kutia show. So we didn't even realize what is my value. Oh, yes. So we did events, man. Those days ni joko kulikuwa na kina face off. Kulikuwa na open happiness. Yani major events as in every weekend uwezi kosa kufanya corporate event and now this time any endorsements as it come bado bado endorsement ya come okay because at that time major events iko zinafanya na corporates mm. na na hiyo time the corporates ilikuwa imeingia sasa kwa entertainment in industry exactly yeah because the, before that akukuwa na major ulikuwa either fanya tu in house events mm. but ulikuwa unafanya kama zile show corporate unafanya show for the public yes so up on the side shows the kaanza man i used to perform paka una, unasema wow any if command uko na fatigue because you are, you are criss crossing across the nation man uko tu mara kwa kiricho mara kwa kiambu mara kwa mbasa you was across the nation you see it's not just nairobi yes. you are a no, yeah, you are yeah, a nationwide yeah, 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 nationwide yeah, yeah, artist yeah yeah because yeah. remember my at that time i can say my my fan base the huge fan base ilikuwa eldina mombasa eldina mombasa it was like i used to be in mombasa like four times or five times a month <laughs> Mombasa LD it was like lazima you go to LD yeah. Nairobi ndio tuna demand iko yeah. so events ilikuwa more then now 2010 is when i went to nigeria but kwanza ukamaliza uka, uka, uka groove 
Eh chama za groove. No no kwanza 2010 ukachukua groove zote. Zote sio ni kwa same kerero hiyo time. Okay okay okay. So December second I think. Ndio nikaenda Nigeria. Solo Mama Awards. So tukaenda nilitoa kama daddy one of course. Ba nikasema lama nikuje na crew yangu. Mm. Crew yangu iko na Danko na iko na Kera. Mm. So tukaenda eh Amazingly I think tukiana ma tukirudi tulikuwa the same plane na Diamond tulikuwa the same plane na Vanessa tulikuwa the same crew na Radio Nwizo cause by the time tulifika huko I think tulikuja tukakuwa mabeshte sisi wote mm. watu wa East Africa we were so close mm. me P unit Mudoni Drama Queen eh, Vanessa Diamond eh, and Radio Nwizo And I think a money came or something. I can't yeah. remember. But you we are so close. Tolewa roba sasa tuko tunapiga ndio story si wenyewe kwa wenyewe. So kufika and out of all of us was what to go up. I was the underdog. <laughs> yes. Because Puni ndio walikuwa wanajulikana as wanajulikana already. Walikuwa mimi na mama enda. Eh kwa sababu kina damu walikuwa wanajua Puni. Wanajua hizo ngoma zao ni. Vanessa was a presenter then. Was not a musician mm-hmm. some day. Yeah. Was still a presenter for MTV. Damon alikuwa ashika na hiyo mbagala. Alikuwa ashika so hata kina bintu alikuwa anamjua nini. Oh nice. They don't wizo walikuwa big. Yes. So I was the only underdog in that whole clique. But God me faithful. Coming back home, I'm the only one who came back with the trophy. With the something. Yeah, I'm the only one who came back home with the trophy. <laughs> So, so can you remember how you, and and you performed of course that is like the highlight of my career because i remember reaching nigeria when it figure like this we went to rehearsals because they told me i'm going to perform i was super excited i just i just didn't want to go for the awards without performing mm. because i was like i must sell myself out there guys to know mm. who i am what i do so and then performing they put me on the same set with fali pupa too fun from uh, Ivory Coast mm-hmm. and I think I was with one the call or somebody I'm a Sakodia uh-huh. either Sakodia or the call but I remember in the same category I was with Sakodia what yes I remember perfectly so after that after rehearsals one day just like I think one day to the event The manager came and told me oh when you're going to present an award hey. I was like what <laughs> from just nomination now, to performing now, now I'm going to present an award yeah. I was like oh my goodness so I presented an award I performed and then just to seal it off uli uli enda home now I remember when they said and here are the nominees yeah. I asked Danko Danko what do you think what are our chances Danko was like Uh, I think tukona 80% chance ya kuwin but that 20% is the most doubtful 20% I've ever had nikamba na kosa unisaidi and they say daddy oh my goodness over my goodness over. we couldn't believe yani i mean we couldn't believe of course kira and dako came with you on stage as well yeah of course and you were carrying the the kenyan flag Nice. Manze we couldn't believe. And anyway, we couldn't believe because I had for me the campaign was serious. Mm. Just before mamas, I did campaign in churches and asking guys just to vote for me. Guys voted on another level. You felt it, eh? I felt it you because felt the love and support. Yeah. I was so sure. In fact, I was like when I come back home, even if I don't win, I had a speech prepared ready to tell just tell guys, thank you so much for the support. Because the support was massive. Mm. In churches support was massive that's crazy any guys came out to vote they came out to vote and in on another level so after winning it man say i i think for me that is like the highlight of my career are you serious yeah that's the highlight i can't i can't forget it when we were there at echo hotel as in i remember everything vividly <laughs> because it's like and then it's like right now it's like 10 years ago but you know i understand it because i mean less than five years about five years before that you were saying 
I'm over. This yes. is thing is over. Yes. I always tell my, my younger bro, who wants to become a musician, he's always like, I need this music. I'm like, I remember that deep so well. <laughs> at, at, at and I remember it. how God, from that moment, moving forward, how God lifted what I was doing to another level. My career, he took it to another level. Because you mentioned God, yeah? What's the spiritual process that you go through before writing a song? I've never actually I've not asked this question to anybody, but mine, I know because I know you. Uh, mine guys will tell you. Are you? I I always go to Catalonia. So many guys will tell you they they always meet the Dior in Catalonia. Catalonia is a prayer center in Machacos. So going there for me, like every year, every year I set one month aside just for fasting and praying. Mm. I, uh, before I release my song, I'm a, when I'm recording, in between, there must be a session aside for prayer and fasting. That's how I do it. Since then till now. Mm. Since then till now. It's That's what you've done. Do. That's what I do. But the best thing... In that prayer and started, fasting, has there been anything? It started, it started... Not it started plans. in my deep. Uh, no, but you. But remember, you're. No, it, may I, from what I'm hearing, you telling me started with can be crystal. No, leave alone that. Uh -huh. Now understanding the the, 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 the the part of, you know, can be crystal created the obedience. Uh -huh, can okay. be crystal created the culture. Okay. I but understand. you know, there's a difference between you, you can be born in a family of Christians, but you on a on a, on, on a personal own. level, there are things you don't do. Mm -hmm. Just because your your dad prays and my mom prays. And I mean, even you, you pray. You pray. Mm -hmm. So, can be crystal clear the culture in me. I get. But now, in a personal level, one on one with God, started when I want, I want, when the deep hit. Okay. That's when I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I just need divine intervention in this. That's when now it started really well. Because remember, even when I was in LD, I was fasting, just looking for direction, just talking to God and telling God, God. I just need you to direct my footsteps. Where, to, where, where you want me to go, I'll go. I'm ready. Just show me the way. So mine was, my, my album for Semakapungala was like a prayer, like a cry to God. Tafadali, please. Yes, I'm like, I just give it up to you. Just lead me. Show me where to go. And do you think it was a res as a result of that prayer and fasting that what happened happened? Yeah. So do you think if you had not done it, things would be different? I'm so sure things would be different because I think my second al my second album I recorded with the, with that mentality of say I'm born again, mm -hmm. say you know how the drill is, mm -hmm. say you know what is what is required for me to do. So it was more of the skill and the talent uh -huh. and less of the hey, spiritual. But now my third album. It was more of the spiritual now. Yes, I have now the skill. The I know I have the skill, but then he yes, has Yes. Because the things that were happening in that album, I can't even, till today, I can't even explain. Yeah. You can't I have that can. many big songs. I can't like, explain. In fact, you can, I think maybe only Issa mm -hmm. has had, had that many big songs at once. Yes. But then also, Issa sometimes didn't transcend to to certain level of people. Yes, yes, yes. You get? And, yes. And and mine was crazy. I remember the other day we went to Taita Taveta and say, guys, it was like a stampede. And for me, every time those things were happening, I, I was looking behind like maybe there's someone else who is coming. <laughs> you still don't believe it's you? Yeah, because by the time the brand went to that level i was not ready yeah. and i never thought my brand can get to that level that's it's so good to hear you say that because i am, never thought me i'm seeing you on stage i say you know and i was telling you this before we, the cameras were rolling mm -hmm. when groove awards was being done or when groove awards are done and, and there's an artist being said and who do you think the winner is the crowd would be like you, yes, 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 y
that period of time. It was and in the unison. The is daddy. <laughs> yeah. And it's not one, two, three you're taking. I know, I know. You're, you're the most nominated and you take all. I know. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember, man. And we are not upset. And nobody's there thinking, I know. Like mm. any, yes. You, you, you see, yes. Okay. Everybody's mm. like, um, mm. yes. Mm. Give that. Nowadays, I, I see controversies after the award. Our days, but those days, then you used to work hard, pack your level. Everyone is like, ah, this is all I'm not going to do. But amazingly, like for me, I never worked to win any award. Because mm. you see, let me tell you the truth. Groove used to happen, I think, December or something. Yeah. We are groove, and then groove, groove party now. Uh -uh. The awards, as you want a definite date. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like later on they became definite. Yes. Yeah. It was just random. Mm. Sometimes in a skate march. So, mm. so you can't it's as though in a gear to the fuck. You can't get the timing. <laughs> exactly. You know nowadays you can work with the timing. Mm -hmm. You plan. When the rules came, those regulations were yes. yeah. So for us it was not like you're you're doing songs for the awards. Mm -hmm. Awards mm -hmm. to come a song is Exactly. You get my point? Mm -hmm. So it was it was impossible to say I want to win awards next year. Yep. You get eh? Mm -hmm. It was so Im it was impossible because kuna month zilikuwa nakuja kama september kuna yeah. month zilikuwa zinakuja kama march mm. i remember very well kuna wakati ilikuwa inakuja april yeah you get eh? and then kuna wakati ilikuwa lazima kama watu wamefunga shule ndio ilikuwa ina happen yes i remember very well yeah so it was so it was impossible to to work to make sure that i win the awards next year mm. and like today people work to make sure that my song is is in before yes before the... yes yes so the awards caught you doing what you yes, were doing. Yes, not, not at I worked for 100%, the awards. Hundred percent. So the the in fact, since we are talking about the awards, the next year after that, Tobina, after that Tobina Madness, Ulibeba Awards, Zote Tena. In fact, this time it became irritating. I think you even decided to quit quit Groove after that, let and, me and you gave out your awards. Let me, let me tell the truth. That was one of the toughest years years of, of my career people don't understand why because 